Hello class, this is section 7.2 and we are going to work through an example of a problem where the integral rule for Laplace transforms is useful. So our goal here is to calculate the inverse Laplace transform of this fraction. And I think the lesson of this video really is to be vigilant and check if there is a way to extract an S term from the denominator. Like in this case, we can. We, this is equivalent to Laplace inverse of 1 over s minus a divided by s. And once we do that, the next step is to check if this 1 over s minus a term has an easy inverse Laplace transform. So let's consult our table. And there you have it. Our 1 over s minus a term is exactly here. And it corresponds to EAT. The next step so um, according to that table, the Laplace transform of EAT is equal to 1 over s minus a. Another way to write that down is that f little ft equals EAT corresponds to big Fs equals 1 over s minus a. And this clearly means that little Fs over s is our original fraction. And let's consult our integral rule now. And that says that fs over s is equal to the Laplace transform of this integral of little f. So let's do that. So this is equal to the Laplace transform of taking t to 0 of f tau d tau. Another way to write this, of course, is that the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared minus as is equal to that integral. And little f is, of course, just eat from here. So we rewrite that. ea tau this time, of course. And this is a fairly straightforward integral. We go from ea tau over a from tau equals t to tau equals 0. And this is just going to be e a t over a minus 1 over a. And that is going to be the inverse of plus transform that we were looking for.